Well, tonight, the Big Bang will be skyward as NASA deliberately crashes a rocket into an asteroid some 6.8 million miles from Earth. Now, there's no danger right now, but the historic mission is about protecting our planet. Paula Tutman talked to local scientists to get a handle on what's really at stake here. So I'm at the Atchison Planetarium on the Cranbrook campus, and this is a great place to illustrate this because here's the big question. We all want to know how many asteroids are there really that can actually do damage to the planet? Well, that we know of, more than 150,000 asteroids are constantly swirling around us. Now, in terms of ones big enough to do real damage to our planet, well, that we know of, those are in orbits 10,000 years away. But we've got to start figuring this stuff out sometime. And now is as good a time as any. And if you think this is something you don't need to be concerned about at all, just ask the dinosaurs. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. The DART mission, or the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, will crash into Dimorphos, a small moon orbiting the near-Earth asteroid Didymus. After being launched 10 months ago, 10 months ago, what's the big wolf today? Well, at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Time, the deliberate collision course. Dr. Coppola Castaldi is with the physics department at Oakland University. I think we will see a big bang <laughs> of this, you know, and so the impact should be very, very interesting. Mike Norwalk is the head of astronomy at the Cranbrook Institute of Science. One of the questions that we get asked here all the time is, especially since we have dinosaurs on display, is what killed the dinosaurs? And we tell them it's most likely an asteroid that hit the Earth some 65 million years ago. So then the question invariably becomes, well, what if an asteroid like that came by now? Uh, up until recently, the answer was, well, not much. We know just the impact of DART will change the trajectory and the direction of the asteroid. But here's what we won't know immediately. Will the rocket have the impact of a car hitting a car or a truck hitting a car. So what this probe is going to do, it's going to act like a cue ball and it's going to impact the asteroid and then we're going to measure how did its motion change. It will definitely change, just like, you know, when two objects impact one on another, they deviate. On the other hand, then the details are not clear because it depends on the mass. Okay, I'm sorry, do you hear that? That is the sound of all of us space geeks basically geeking out over this. But the question about do I look up? Well, you can, but honestly, earthbound telescopes, even that heck of big telescope behind me, will not capture this. It's too far away. But here's the good news, Karen. Of course, NASA is going to drop all kinds of pictures and data on us. And so a lot of us are really, really excited to see what this thing looks like almost 7 million miles away. It seems like the makings of a movie, right? It's so, so cool. <laughs> No, that movie's been made. Actually, that movie's been made three or four times. Yeah, that's times. true. You're right. This is life imitating art. Yes, that is for true. sure. Very exciting <laughs> night ahead, that's for sure. Thanks, Paula.